Uh, we are here celebrating Asian Heritage Month. Of course, we are featuring the Korean culture, and I'm wearing what we call a, a humbok. This is a traditional Korean dress. I actually borrowed this from my aunt. Um, and as you see behind me, this is the KT Pack dance group. They're doing a very traditional Korean dance. It's honestly my favorite. We call this the fan dance. Uh, we are here at the Arta Gallery in the Distillery District. We are celebrating Asian Heritage Month. Joining me now is Roy Choi. He is with Sunny Gallery, and uh, they are collaborating with Arta Gallery for this very special event. Good morning. Good morning. Or Chon Achim. Chon Achim. So tell me a little bit about Sunny Gallery and some of the beautiful art pieces here, or as we say, K Art. Yes. So uh, Sunny Gallery is deeply related with K-Art. We've been working with Korean artists, Canadian Korean artists, all our, during our whole uh, career. And we have these amazing pieces of art to show to the Canadian public. Give me, for example, tell me a little bit about this piece right here. So this one is called Surfing. It's by a famous artist named Kim Dong-yoo from Korea. So the artist dots every single one of these dots to show a bigger picture of the art. You know, instead of you know drawing it with a stroke of of a brush or anything like that, we actually want to show that these small dots can make a bigger picture. Very nice, and you have so many pieces all around here at Arta Gallery, and yeah. I know that uh, art is a huge thing in the Korean culture. Yeah. We have a lot of talented artists. Yes, we do have a lot of talent, talented artists, actually. Um, not even just the Korean artists, we have ones that are in Canada that are uh, representing Korean artists. We are also have uh, associations that are focused on Korean artists in Canada, and we're really proud to present their works. All right, and so people can come down to the Arta Gallery here in Distillery District starting today right through till June 2nd. Yes, that's true. Uh, so tomorrow is our opening night. We'll ha be having musical performances, dance performances, and a lot of different guests that will show up to uh, to enjoy the Korean art. Great, thank you. And I'm joined here now by Elizabeth Hanley Derry with Arta Gallery. And you are collaborating with Sunny Gallery to feature this. Is this the first time you featured uh, K Art? Yes, it is. And we're really excited to be part of this um, cultural kind of event. They've done an amazing job to make it a multi-sensory experience with the art. Um, so we're really excited to be part of it and celebrate uh, Asian Heritage Month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so this runs through from today till June 2nd. Tell me your thoughts on some of these pieces that you see here in the gallery. Yeah, I think they've done an amazing job. You can kind of see the diversity of um, Korean art from more traditional mediums to um, K-pop art. So you really get a full experience of Korean art and Asian art. And how wonderful is it to celebrate something like this in Toronto, a very diverse city where you see two worlds collide like this? Yeah, it's really special to be part of this experience and being in this distillery district, we have a lot of travelers who come through. Um, so to be able to showcase um, you know, art from different parts of the world, um, we're really like, inspired by that um, and love to be part of it. Very nice, and thank you so much. And so Roy, again, from now till June 2nd, but tomorrow night will be yes. the only night where people can swing by f at what time? Uh, so we will start at 7 p.m. And you know, feel free to come by at any time during our open open hours. Yeah. So, uh, but tomorrow will be our opening night, and we'll be having a lot of performances, a lot of fun. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. And then, of course, we have musicians as well as uh, dancers here. So, coming up in the next half hour. This is my favorite moment here where they do the wave. Uh, we'll feature the Korean traditional dance. Yes, we are celebrating the Korean culture here at Arda Gallery. And as you can see behind me, this is a traditional Korean dance. It's my favorite. And this is my favorite part when they do the wave. And sometimes when they do the wave, they form a flower. So it's a beautiful dance. And this is the KT Pack. Joining me now is Kuk Kyung Kum, as well as her daughter, Yoon Ji Bae. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so I understand that your mother here is the director, right? Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got into dance. She uh, she started very early at the age of uh, eight to ten. She just had a, a born passion about traditional dance in Korea, and I, I can see that because when they're dancing, she's very particular about each move. Yes, it's a beautiful dance. Yeah. Yes, uh, Yunji, tell me a little bit more about the Korean traditional uh, fan 
dance. dance. Yeah. So this uh, started as um, uh, uh, to the Korean traditional dances all started for the blessing of the good harvest for the for the uh, for the, the, for the ancient times of Korea, and then it uh, became the celebration dance for for kings and um, those emperors. So that's uh, how it has been succeeded. And Puchetum is the one that has been modernized a little bit with a little bit faster tempo of the uh, the music. So it has been uh, a celebration dance for Korea. It's beautiful, and I'm so glad that we are able to showcase it here in Toronto. Uh, what are your thoughts on the fact that we're celebrating Asian Heritage Month and we're able to showcase our culture? So. Um, the uh, KT Pack has been uh, 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 our goal has been connecting the community together. Not only not only the uh, Korean Canadians, but also show the Korean traditional um, uh, the, not only the dances, but also instrument and all the cultural side of it. Um, uh, by having someone who is very professional and very successful and trained in Korea. So we are able to bring that to Canada, connect Korea and Canada together. And it's beautiful. And you know what? People don't realize every little flick of the fan, every little move, there's a technique to it. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. It takes years and years to master this. Yes. Not only just the uh, those uh, the, those fans, but how you move your toe, how you move, how you lift your ankle. It all based on the uh, 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 training that you acquire for the, the years of uh, years of uh, practice. It's, uh, well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you joining this morning. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we'll let it, the dancers take it to break. But again, we're celebrating Asian Heritage Month, the Korean culture here at Arta Gallery in collaboration with Sunny Gallery. You can come down here from now till June 2nd to see some of the art in the gallery. And tomorrow night, a special performance by the KT Pack. in a humbug. So this group right here is called Hanum, which means one, one sound. One, one sound. One love, one sound, right? right. John Lee it joins me now. And uh, how fantastic is this to celebrate uh, Korean music? Oh, it's very good. It's, it's very nice to have a place that we can, uh, we can showcase our uh, Korean music. Tell me a little bit about Hanum, this group. Uh, we started in 2017. Um, we're from the Korean Traditional Music Association of Canada. And we started it because we wanted to make music that reflected our identities as Korean Canadians. And we thought this was a good way to combine you know, traditional music with Western music. What has the response been like when you see people from outside our community listening to your music? Uh, first, they're very intrigued, I guess, because it's all very new for them. I like this instrument here, Kayagum. Uh, this instrument, Changu, it's all very yeah, novel to them at first. Yeah. Um, but hopefully we can get past that and be, create music that's also meaningful. And I love that we can celebrate this, especially this month when it's Asian Heritage Month. Tell me a little bit about your instrument here. So this instrument is called the Changu. It's a, one of the Korean traditional percussions. Um, it has a bass side and a treble side. And and it's uh yeah <laughs> it's Very one nice. of the yeah Very <laughs> nice. And then this is another one here. This is Roa Lee, and she's playing this traditional instrument. What is this called, Roa? It's called Kaya Kum. Kaya Kum. And how long have you been playing this? Oh, it's over twenty something years. <laughs> That's impossible because you look like you're eighteen years old. <laughs> no, not at all. And so, what's the technique in playing this instrument? Oh, we play this from uh, by the fingers. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, we have the very traditionally the kayakum is only have twelve strings, yes. but we developed this instrument, so we have now twenty five strings. So it's easier to collaborate with other Western music 
I love the combination between the traditional instruments and the Western music. I'm going to let you guys play for a little bit so we can hear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hanum. This is called a humbug, and you're right. I borrowed my aunt's humbug because I don't have one. Uh, one little great thing about wearing a humbug, you can eat whatever yes. you want, and nobody will know, right? I know. Like uh, we featured the Korean fan dance, and we featured musicians, and now art. Uh, this is Clara Kim, and what I love about her piece is she uses a knife to spread the paint. Clara, this is beautiful. Tell me a little bit more of your piece here. I'm um, saying this is uh, this scene can be deceiving because if people think frogs are vulnerable and rooster are very you know so to love to dining on frog. So to frogs, the rooster is a large adversaries. But um, I put the you know red colors on frog, turn into the poisonous frog, which is bird, the fact aware. So, so there's a lot of deep meaning because you would think that the frog would be intimidated, but it isn't. And you were sharing with me, Clara, that the frog is a lot like us, people who've immigrated here, where it may be overwhelming, but we are standing firm and we are showing um, our culture and being proud of that. Yes, yes, like as I want to express who I am. So I came from Korea and I'm living in, as Canadians. So I cannot say saying, I'm not a Korean, I'm not a Canadian. I also, you know, both between there. So I want to express like as an immigrant who somebody have the standing, even, you know, so like as in front of a larger adversaries and big society, I'm looks different the only one. I'm very vulnerable, but this is what I'm painting so like is a dignified appearance of frog who stays stoic. Beautiful. Which, so we'll let you get finish this piece. I'm gonna go over here to uh, Junie. Hi, Hello. Junie's here uh, with Sunny Gallery in collaboration with Arda Gallery That's here right. at a Distillery. Tell me a little bit more of this event that's taking place. Absolutely. So we are right now open to public and it's free admission from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day till June 2nd. And tomorrow, for those of you who cannot visit us during the daytime, we're actually having an opening night where you can come in and see the dance and the music <laughs> and the art for all of the 20 artists that we brought in. And we have over 60 pieces hanging on the walls over here. So it's going to be a great celebration of Korean culture and heritage. Very nice. So it's Sunny Gallery, but it's in collaboration with the special exhibit here at Arda Gallery right through till June 2nd. Yes, and also sponsored by the Consulate General of the Republic of Korea in Toronto as well. So us three, we're bringing everybody in to celebrate Korean heritage. So everybody, 여러분, 환영합니다! That's it. We're going to have a fun morning here in the Distillery District. You don't want to miss it, guys. We're going to send it back to the newsroom. Okay, that is our GM Lee live for us inside the Distillery District celebrating uh, Korean Heritage Day as part of Asian Heritage Month. It's been a beautiful uh, preview inside that art space right there. And that is it for our show this morning on CP24 Breakfast. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll have more news coming up at 9 o'clock. News Flow with George is next. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Take care.